we all human. We all have this fear of commitment. We have a fear of love. We have a fear of life. Fear of having our hearts broken. Fear of of what may happen if and only if we make or we make this move that that what if that that things may not work out may may not go to may not go the way it would a way it should. We fear things because uh, we don't know the outcome. We don't know the outcome of of the consequences that we may face in life, in love, in many things, many possible things that can happen to us. I'm posting this video just so you could get over your fears, get over your emotions of being So self subconscious of yourselves. <clears throat> I want to <clears throat> I just want you to understand something here. You don't have to be afraid of me. You don't have to fear me. You don't have to fear anything about me but God. And that's pretty much why this society is the way it is right now. Because we chose to go to uh, go to the um, go to the person who may seem cool but then after a while you find out that um, that, uh, that the the consequence of meeting this person or people that it might pretty much bite you in the ass because you don't know what this guy's or you don't know what this person's intent intention is you don't know what uh, what uh, what he or she is about you don't even know who he or she from or where it, or where they have been sometimes we have to be careful of who we meet But ultimately, I want you all to open your minds, open your hearts, let go of this fear that you possess. Because sometimes, some because somehow, some way down the line, you may never know. You may, you, I mean, as human beings, we can't predict what may happen in five minutes, five hours, five seconds, nanoseconds, etc. For whenever a consequence happens, it's only best that you be resilient. 
be like, oh, this person fucked up on me. Or, oh, oh, this person robbed me for like $200 or $300 or $5 or what have you. Shit happens, folks. I mean, I ain't got, I ain't got a lot to do. I actually spent $300 on this phone. Was I mad? Yeah. Is it worth getting the uh, getting this product just so I can start making clothes and, uh, and not be bored all my life? Yeah, it is. And. There's even people, I mean, hell, there's even people that I would, that I've met, just, um, that, uh, that, okay, I may not know this person through a hole in the wall, but yet, we clicked all of a sudden, and then next thing you know, somewhere down the line, then that, the, that that things never happened the way it, the way it did. I mean, there's certain people who uh, who would uh, who would like you know sell me an item on Craigslist and come to find out that that person who sold me this item that item didn't work. That item, however, didn't mean and being seen the function so uh, so when I contacted when I tried to contact this person or pretty much tried to hunt down this person who sold me that item come to find I find out that now that this dude stole that item from someone else and pawned it off to me. I guess that's a lesson learned. I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm not going to sit here, bitch, moan, and cry about it. I'm just going to dust my shoulders off. Like so. And move on. I'm not going to call up a random, uh, I'll call up some random people just to solve my problems. I can always solve them myself. I only crutches to solve my problems. Whether it's just, if it's my uh, situation that, uh, that, uh, that needs to be handled, I can handle it myself. Because at the end of the day, my bullshit is my bullshit. And your bullshit is your bullshit. Plain and simple. So... Like I said in that last video on YouTube and on Facebook or whatever social media it lands on, this year in 2014 marks ghost season. Ghost season. And I repeat, hashtag ghost season. That means, that means to let go of everything that hurts you. And unleash everything that motivates you, that gets you by. Because if you don't, you're going to be continuing to work to wake up in a world of shit that you're in. Every time you wake up in the morning or at night or during the afternoon, 
or what have you, your life is on the line. Your future, your as well as your present, is on the line. You could have a job today and they won't have it tomorrow. Or you could have this apartment, this place, this shelter that you're in. And won't have it. It's only yours until you lose it. Because I, because quite honestly, I hear people say on me like, I'm just like, oh, this is my house. You can get the fuck out of it wherever you want, blah, blah, blah. But in reality, like I said before, it's yours until you lose it. Everything you own, everything you have, every whatever you, no 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 matter how hard you worked your ass off on it, it could be taken away from you, regardless of what towel you hold. Within minutes, within seconds, if you don't play your cards right, it'll be gone. So, I'm going to leave you this message. Oh, and always remember, if you have, if you make it towards the end of this message, I want you to leave a comment on my timeline or or in the comments below on YouTube. It's ghost season. Hashtag be resilient.